All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over some of the tools you're gonna to need to disassemble this Prius pack here for the case, to take the case off so we can inspect the modules inside for sequential. The first thing you're gonna need is a ratchet or drill with a 10 millimeter socket. Also, you're gonna need a eight millimeter socket or drill. You're going to need a multimeter you're going to need the high voltage plug, which has the key on top to remove any orange safety plugs that are on the case here. You're also going to need a QR code reader that is attached to a computer or a laptop with Excel so that we can show each QR code to check to see if it's sequential. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to visually inspect our, our pack. Now what we're going to look for is we're going to visually look for any spray paint, any markings such as this one on top. We're going to look for any other damage, any other type of uh, markings, any tags, any logos, anything like that, such as this one here has a tag on it. Sometimes they also paint the whole case a different color with their logo on it. That's an obvious sign of it's been tampered with. So once we do that, we're going to use some of our tools and we will remove the case and the cover here. And we will take our lid off. We have this one here. And there'll be another video to explain fully in detail how to remove this top case. So we'll take the top lid off. Now that we've displayed our modules here, you're going to have your orange plugs here. And of course you will have a nut on each one of these, which these here are gonna be eight millimeter. You just take all of these and then pull the orange plug off. And then same with this side, you will have your orange bus bars on here. You wanna remove those. And then for the visual part, you want to look at your modules here and you wanna to check to make sure that there's no writing, numbers, markings, colors, paint, stickers, or any type of tags on here that will show a sign of these batteries being mixed up or tampered with. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to look at the QR codes, which are here this box here is what we're going to be scanning. This number here is our QR code number for each module. So what we want to do is we want to take our, our reader, our scanner, and we just want to go through, make sure it's set up for Excel, it's on there, and we want to go through each one, and we will scan each one. Now, after we've scanned our QR codes, we can go here and we can check our QR codes to see if they're in sequence. Now here you could see there, the first one is different from the next. Now what you wanna look for is you wanna look for 
your first set of numbers to all match. Your first set of numbers, 1, 2, 2, P, 4, is not your next set of numbers. It's your third set of numbers, which obviously it shows that it's not in sequence. You have all different types of numbers. So this pack has been tampered with. It has been mixed up, and it is what we call Frankenstein. Now what we want to look for is we want to do a leak test on our terminals to determine whether there's any leaks. And what we use here is we use this solution here that I have in a spray bottle. And what we do is we just spray on the terminals And if there's a leak, it would show a pink from the terminal, as you could see here. That indicates that there's a leak in the battery pack or the module. And you will go through each module and you would kind of notice pink from the solution spray that we sprayed on there. And that's another indicator that it could be possibly a failed battery or a battery that has been tampered with. Now the next thing we would do is we would check our voltages for each module. So we would take our, mo our, our voltmeter and we would hook uh, up to our negative and then our positive. We would remove this and we would hook up our positive and our negative to our DC voltmeter and we will select our DC and make sure that it's above 7.2. That's another check that we would want to make sure that it's it's within that 7.2 volt range.